Awesomeness, awesomeness. Yes, family, how are you doing? It's a privilege and honour to be here once again with something a bit more different this time. And it surely is a privilege and an honour to have this man of excellence. And I can say that for experience, yeah? Especially when we talk about the 90s. We could go back, but due to time and things, because this is a man on demand, we won't go that far back. However, if the prodigal son, the David Ellis, chooses to do so, then what can I do about it? Absolutely nothing. Because I know it's all about the most high through Jesus Christ first, but then it's about David Ellis, yeah, and then me. I don't even want to take up any more precious time at this moment in time. Um, this man's teared up the place in terms of the gospel realm in the, in the UK, 1990s. You want to speak about people like Kurt Franklin and stuff, and, you know, I can go on and on and on and on, but I'd rather let the man on demand speak himself. The David Ellis. How <laughs> Thank you. are you doing? I'm doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that that big introduction right there. I wasn't expecting that at all. But thank you, man. Thank you. I'm doing really well, thank you. Nice. Really, really well. It's good to see you. Thank you. Likewise, Dave. Yeah. So um, a lot of things have been going on um, in your world, um, from music to the pastoral um, life. And um, I know that there's stuff going on in the field in regards to music, which is why we're here more time um, so that you can bless the, the community so that everyone can grab this information and run with it um, because we all know we don't even all know what it's all about in fact but for those that do know in regards to Kevin Clark Ministries and stuff there is a great commission and that's basically to introduce the kingdom of God um, to the whole wide world um, and at the same time in order to continue to lift the banner of the most high God to everybody that has a relationship with the Lord um, but for those that don't and it's a huge opportunity because God has people in places that are out there doing some awesome things, introducing his love to the world, bringing God down to earth. And um, David Ellis is a man that is after God's own heart. And you'll see that through his music when he speaks. And if you even get a chance to go to the Trent Vineyard, which is in Nottingham, um, then you can be not just be blessed by the whole ministry, of works that's taking place there um but but through certain information that comes through the mouthpiece of david an excellent man a man of honor a great vessel so um in the realms of music we're going to touch a bit more about what's going on in the world of david ellis and his music right now so dave you've got an event coming up here yeah? um yeah. tell us a bit more about it please yeah so during lockdown um I wrote a number of songs. Uh, in fact, I wrote like 35 songs during lockdown. Yeah. Um, and, 35, and that, 35, yeah, yeah. Um, just because I was just in that creative zone where it was like, of course, when you're when you're literally locked down and you haven't got much to do, then, yeah. you know, for me, that was just a time for um, cathartic expression in that, you know, there's been a lot of things that I was processing, that I was thinking about. And actually that just created the space just to write all the material that I'd, that I'd written. And so out of those 35 plus songs, uh, I had quite a job of narrowing it down uh, to, to make 18 tracks, which is now on my album uh, called Legacy, which is actually a tribute to my mum because she had quite a significant impact uh, on my life. Uh, and there was a video that launched the album as well that was released on February the 21st this year. The album has done remarkably well, um, you know, far and wide, uh, worldwide, actually. And uh, the feedback uh, has just been phenomenal. Um, mm -hmm. There's been there's, there's tracks on there that, that talk about uh, mental health and suicide, which was a, a big thing uh, during the pandemic and still a big thing today. Um, for men in particular, for all people, but for men in particular of a certain age. And so there's a track on my album called Just Breathe, 
which is quite a, a graphic track that deals with the pain, the emotional pain that, that people often feel, um, you know, when they're going through turmoil internally and they feel that they can't vocalize it um, outwardly. And so um, a lot of people have responded to that. There's personal stuff on there as well. There, there's uh, a song about my kids on there. Uh, there there's obviously my mum. Um, but there's also stuff on there as well about that a lot of people won't know. Um, so I went to live in Jamaica for a time uh, in 1988. The song's actually called 1988. And uh, during that time, uh, I almost died. Uh, I, I sadly um, experienced uh, an armed robbery where two masked gunmen broke into our home, uh, tied us up and put a gun to my head. Uh, and, you know, I almost died. And, and 1988 talks a lot about that. Um, and there's lots of other tracks on there as well, which, you know, uh, as I say, have been really well received. And so to culminate this, um, there's a, a gig that's happening at the Bodega on the 2nd of July, about three weeks away, uh, where I'm going to be um, talking a little bit about the tracks, but also uh, performing those tracks live. I, I'm, I'm super excited about it because, as you know, Kev, I haven't performed in many years. Yeah. And so that I've had the opportunity to do that. Um, you know, to, to people, um, for people to come along and to hear that is a real uh, privilege and a blessing. So I'm really excited to do that and, and excited for people to come and hear uh, some of the stuff that I've been writing about. You know, I'm super excited, Dave, because um, as you were speaking, I was um, rewinding back into the 90s and thinking about um, experiences, me being able to actually... Um, tag along with yourself and go to certain events around the UK um, to be around thousands of people um, and you ministering to thousands of people through your music and watching souls come to Christ um, through your gifting it's, it's such a humbling um, it was Thank such you. a humbling experience and still is a humbling experience thinking about it now I remember there were times where I would be like carrying stuff and, and helping you and you'd be like Kev I just need to have some time away and you would go inside your space or go inside of your car and consult the Lord and speak to the Lord in regards to what Holy Spirit wants you to, to really do, what direction you need to go in before going um, on that pulpit or on that stage or wherever to, to um, minister to the people. So, um, gosh, wow, what a journey. And I tell you, um, you need to literally experience for yourself. I mean, grabbing... Dave Ellis's content, listening to it is powerful. Being in the presence where he is demonstrating and sharing um, life experience and, and his relationship with the Lord is something else. So this event, um, what we can do in fact, family, we could all like tag along. Just let me know. Um, we can grab some tickets, all of us, go down there together as a family and have an awesome time. That would be super, super, super amazing to say I don't get out much as well. But it would be a great <laughs> opportunity for us not to connect as well, isn't it? Rather than just the, the virtual stuff. You know what I'm saying, Dave? The virtual Absolutely. stuff. This man here has been super instrumental in my um, relationship in terms of discipleship. David Ellis, um, I say this to himself um, privately, we have these discussions and I, and I say, Dave, you know what, I'm super thankful for who you are in my life, but I'm saying it openly as well, Dave, you know, I thank God for your life, I don't take you lightly at all, and thank you for sharing um, whenever you choose to share with me, and thank you for being there as well, as a brother, I love you so much and, um, that, you know thank you. it is what it is, Dave, it is what it is so, um, and, yeah. you, and you've been there, you've been there, Kev, you know as you said you know, from the 90s, our relationship's going back a long way, a long time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I'm grateful um, for your input into my life, you know, um, for, for being the best man at my wedding. And, and and not only that, but as you said, you know, you 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 were faithful, man, in the early days when we'd go to London and Birmingham and do gigs. And, mm -hmm. you know, you'd, you'd just be there, man, just just doing it, whatever you can to support. And, and personally, I really appreciate that. And I also appreciate all the things that you have to say uh, uh, as well um, about my ministry and about some of the stuff that you're doing as well, because I, it, it's authentic. It's authentic. When you journey with someone, 
you, you, you know, my mom would say, see me and come live with me are two different things. But when you journey with someone and, and you spend time with someone, you get to know them. And not only do you know what they present to people, but you know the heart of people. And, and that's what I'm grateful for, for you. Um, so when you speak, you're speaking as a, a man uh, with integrity, but you're a man of experience that, that's journeyed this journey with me. And so I'm, I'm really grateful for that. And, and as you said, it would be, there's a number of people in Nottingham that, that we both know um, and it would be a real privilege what what you may not know actually is that my birthday is actually the day before uh, and, and so <laughs> and so it, 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 it would be a real privilege you know there's man and man and and, and woman and woman that I haven't seen in years yeah. and it'd be great for to, to see a few faces uh, on, at that gig man at the event just to look into the crowd and and even shout out a few people like what I haven't seen you in time even bring them up on stage whatever you know just just because you know we've been in lockdown for so long man and it would just be good just to see people and, and to celebrate people uh, in, in a very similar way in which you've just celebrated me awesome stuff so the event Dave in terms of times and whatnot address yes so it's the 2nd of July and it's at the bodega in Nottingham which is uh, Pelham Street everyone yeah. knows the bodega if you don't just ask someone and they will tell you where it is and you can get the tickets online they're all online or you could even pop into the bodega yourself uh, and there's, they've got a few tickets only a few uh, behind the counter um, but I believe you, you'll put the link up after this That's as well, right. Kevin. Right? As alluded into that as well, yes. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll share all of the links so you can get to the David Ellis in terms of content. And if you want to go back a bit more um, in, in terms of footsteps and whatnot, legacy and stuff, um, then we can go back as prodigal son as well. So I'll find as much links as possible. Um, I'll even grab some details in regards to the, the Gem Awards that um, you've, you've won and things in, um, from back in the day. Dave Ellis has won Gem Awards award is an award-winning artist. Um, yeah, you know, I'll post the links there. You can see for yourself and whatnot. Link to your website as well, Dave. Right? Yes, My yes, absolutely. And everything too. Um, you will definitely be blessed. And another thing, what would be really great is to just share with other people that you know um, would appreciate the material and stuff. So keeping it short and sweet because Dave is just a man on demand and he's got a lot going on in his lovely world. So, <laughs> Mr. Ellis, yeah. thank you kindly for investing your precious time to thank these you, precious sir. people. Thank yeah, you. Much love. Thank, thank you. And thank, thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. And thank you for all that you're doing as well, man. Really appreciate what you're doing, sir. And keep up the great work. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Much love. Much love.